based on a comfort classic in today's Daily Dish. Chef Dev is here to make a mouth-watering butternut squash mac and cheese. You had me at mac and cheese. I like the fact that you're putting some uh, butternut squash in there for some extra added punch. The humble butternut squash. Yeah, but before I go her. there, I just got to say it's so amazing to have our audience back. Yeah! yeah. It is awesome to have them back. They are live. It is great to be cooking for them today um, and to talk about recipes that are actually going to be good for a meatless Monday. This is right? a great recipe for meatless Monday. What I love most about this is that it's easy to make. Mm -hmm. This is a good way to sneak in vegetables. If yeah. there's someone in your family who doesn't like vegetables, it's also using items that are seasonal, also amazing for meal prep. So you can make a big batch of this on Sunday mm -hmm. and use this for the rest of the week. Sounds good. Okay, how do we start? So to make this, we need to make a roux. And we yeah. need to talk a little bit of... Uh, French classical cooking here with mother sauces. Mm -hmm. We have an Espanol, we have a Velouté, we have a Tomate, we have a Hollandaise, which I know a lot of people are familiar with, but mm -hmm. we are making today a... Bechamel. Bechamel, c'est ça. Mm -hmm. So we start with equal parts Very flour yummy. and butter, and then once it starts to smell like pie crust on a low heat, because if you burn this, yeah. no one's eating your food, it's over. right? You gotta start back it's over. over. So it's always better to err on the side of caution yeah. and start at a lower temperature. But once you smell that pie crust after several minutes, mm -hmm. we can come in with hot milk. We add hot milk, it'll prevent the lumps from going in. As you're adding it in, you uh, typically wanna whisk it. Yeah. But I'm not doing that today because I'm going to be using an immersion blender. This is gonna thicken up very, very quickly, and then we start coming in with all of our different cheeses. Yeah. What are, what's your favorite cheese? What would you wanna see? Oh, well, my favorite cheese is manchego, but I feel like that's not right for this recipe, Spanish is it? Spanish manchego. Manchego yeah, is I a love firm, it. manchego is a firm cheese. It doesn't mm. have great melting properties. It's not good for this. But you could still grate it in, like a microplane. If, yeah. you, if you snowed it in, like you would Parmesan or the Asiago, which I have here, which is very, very you fine. You love that one, yeah. I love it. So we're putting that one in. And also, what do you got here? We have cheddar yep. that's going over here. We have smoked mozzarella. Yeah. And then we have Asiago and Parm. Nice. Now, we, we didn't talk too much about our humble butternut squash. Yeah, okay? what'd you do to that squash? How'd you make it ready for the recipe? Took the squash, mm -hmm. peeled it, mm -hmm. then cubed it. Then I tossed it with a lot of rosemary. I kept the garlic in the in the shell, yeah. in the peel. Uh, that way when it roasts, it protects it a little bit. Nice. And then just olive oil, salt, and pepper. Yeah. And, and, a, and, a, and a hard roast. And what I mean by that is that higher temperature, lower time. Okay. Now, why would I do that? I don't know. It's to get the color on it as fast as possible uh -huh. without cooking it to mush. Oh. Stop serving soft broccoli and things like this. We, <laughs> we, need, we need texture in our food, right? We so, do. So that's okay. why if we go nice... Stop at, it. If we go nice and high, like that's about 450 for like six, seven minutes. Oh, okay. okay. So that, that's why I do that. Okay. Now, if you okay, didn't want to use butternut squash and you wanted to use pumpkin, yeah. or oh, you wanted to use good. other vegetables like zucchini, mm. you could. Okay. Just keep in mind, this is going to get baked for a little bit after. Yeah. And what we don't want is for that to become absolute mush. Got it. So with okay. our bechamel here, mm -hmm. you want to bring this to a boil. It's going to start to thicken up quite a bit. Mm -hmm. At that point, what we want to do is I want to remove it off the heat, mm -hmm. and I want to start adding in my cheeses. Yes. Now, if we take a bechamel, there's so much theory today. I love it. <laughs> if we take a bechamel and we add cheese to it, uh -huh. sp uh, specifically Swiss, yep. that's now like a Mornay sauce, which is something you may have heard okay. of in the past, okay? Okay. So we're going to add in a good little lesson, right? We're going to add in our sauces. cheddar. Yep. I'm going to add in most of the mozzarella. Okay. And then I'm going to add in a bunch of the Asiago. Nice. And the Parmesan. Now, if you can't remember all of these measurements, mm -hmm. then just check the recipe on CityLine's website, That's right? That's right, CityLine.tv. You know? We got it all there for you. And you can always feel free online to reach out to me. I respond to everybody. DM okay? him. DM I'm sure you away. get so many. How do you get back to people? You get like three to four a day, you know? Oh, that's it? No, 100. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we give this okay. a really good whisk. <laughs> this is gonna melt. Now you can see the cheese starting to get really stringy. Oh my gosh, it's already so good. What we would do at this point is uh -huh. I would take uh, an immersion blender. Yeah. And if you have a stainless steel one and you're putting it into a nonstick pot, be careful. This okay. has uh, some plastic at the yeah. bottom. Yeah, yeah. So, and then you're gonna blend this up. Now, I don't want to take up the entire time of the segment blending this up. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is just leave this there for now. I want to talk about how we finish plating this up. Yes. In the cheese sauce, once I blend it, I start bringing in more flavor. I have Dijon. Mm -hmm. I have hot sauce. I have salt and pepper. Okay. And that's my homemade hot sauce, so it's fermented, big flavor. Beautiful. And whatever you want to use at home, if you want to chop in fresh peppers, yeah. go for it. Okay. After you blend it, Oh, I got another amazing tip for you. Okay, tell us. So you can do white cheddar, but to get it this color, oh, just put a pinch so of turmeric. Oh, that's so good. 
A little turmeric. So a little bit of haldi in there okay. gets this really nice and yellow. I'm here for that. Take this, let's pour this into our bowl. Uh -huh. Just put two times what you think you should put, okay? Okay. Because you're gonna end up going back and forth. Let's take our butternut, butternut squash. squash. We're gonna add in the roasted butternut squash into here as well. And the garlic, the whole nine. Man, just get it just in there. Just do it. Just get it all in there. Okay. Give this a really nice mix. Yes. I have a bowl here behind me. Yep. And I'm going to pop this in to the oven, and then I'm gonna pull it out in 45 minutes. You can see what it looks like. No, I'm kidding. We have one that's ready. So the this goes into there. The magic of television. The magic of television. Let me pull this out. So it's like mixed together and everything, and everything's pretty much cooked, but you bake it. You bake it all together. You bake it to meld all the flavors yeah. together, and then you bake it to get color on top. Yes. Which is very important. You put a little crispy, crunchy something, something on the top just, of this, right? Just some panko and like nice. really nice golden brown. Oh, that's beautiful. This is super hot, and I do want you to try this. Well, I would, home, I would like to help hot. you with that. Do you Absolutely. have a knife or something? How do you want? Do you want me to? Just I have it. a spoon here. Just and I'm give me a take, little pour. No, not in the middle. Right in the middle, because you're oh. the most special. And see, we have the that cheese. That just made me sad as a mom. Okay, no, very nice. This is for you. Thank you so much. We took our photos already, so it's all. Oh, good. thank Look goodness! That. That's what I was thinking of the whole time. That's by a lot of holding, cheese. By holding back some of the cheese and folding it in, after you add the cheese sauce, it's you terrible. get the stringiness. It's amazing! So yeah. <laughs> it's so good! Oh my gosh, Deb, it's amazing! Like. I can't talk. There's food in my mouth. Sorry. Very good. Very simple to do. Very accessible. Very yeah. achievable for everybody at home. We're playing off seasonality. Mm. And who doesn't love mac and cheese? If you want to it's use gluten-free pasta, or chick mac and cheese. chickpea pasta, yes. spelt pasta, go live your life. Like Chef told you, the recipe is on CityLine.tv. Uh, please go make it. We're going to head to break because i got to eat more than that.